What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Berlin Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so... We got to Celestic Town. We did a lot, guys! Uh, I'd say... Damn, probably, like, maybe 40 minutes or so. I will find out soon. Probably. We will know. Anywho, in this episode right here, guys, we're gonna go into the Celestic Town, uh area right here and talk to this old lady because there is something going on. Uh, there's an odd spaceman in front of uh, the Rudens. There isn't anything there, but that only seemed to make him angry. He's saying he will blow this ta the, the town up with the bomb. The nerve of it all. Hmm. If only I were younger, I'd punish the spaceman with my Pokemon. Okay, so maybe he said he was the bomb? I don't know. I could be wrong. I, I, I don't know. So we have to go look for uh, Cynthia's grandmother, and I believe that was her. It's just she hasn't revealed herself or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to a legendary Pokemon called Mewdia Uno because he is awesome. And this is the legendary Spaceman that they're talking about. And, well, this town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here. It doesn't need to exist, so I'll blow it up with a galactic bomb. If you try to mess with me, I'll shut you down with my Pokemon with a Pokemon battle. So what's it going to be? Are you going to mess with me? Yeah. You dare to oppose Team Galactic? That means you're taking on the world. No, the universe even. He must be smoking that Pokemon uh, hashish. And well, here we are taking on the Team Galactic grunt. There's nothing more embarrassing than that haircut. I'm just going to say it right now, guys. That haircut, embarrassing. So here we are taking on the Team Galactic grunt. And he has himself a beautiful eye. Real big talk from a Pokemon trainer with a, a beautiful butterfly and all that stuff as your Pokemon. So here we go, Ancient Power for the win, Muta Uno using its might, increasing in all stats. Look at that! Oh yes, oh yeah, it increased in all stats. And knowing my luck, that might be the the only Pokemon it's about to battle. No, it's about to take on another one. So yes, we get to use the stat boost for at least one battle. Probably. I don't know. Probably. Yes, one more Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and use the Psychic Attack and, well, Grogunk using the Sucker Punch. That hits us. And, well, here comes uh, the Psychic Attack for the win. And say goodbye to Crowagunk. Yeah. We have defeated you. Oh, yes. And, well, Team Galactic Grunk is not happy. And he's like, I just got worked over. And by a kid, no less. Yeah. By a kid. Okay, alrighty, let's go. Too much to handle. Whatever. I'm out of this uh, this horse, uh, one horse town. There's nothing to do here, anyways. One horse town. Wow. So after defeating that Team Galactic Grunt, here comes this old lady, and she's gonna be like, "Well, aren't you quite the trainer? That was magnificent." As the elder of this Celestic town, I give you my thanks. Oh, that old charm. May I see that, dear? What? What's that? You say you say Cynthia entrusted you with a uh, with it to deliver it to me? That's Cynthia. She's my granddaughter. And well, we have delivered the old charm to the mama or the grandmama, I should say. And well, this old charm is something made in Celestic Town long, long ago. It was made in honor of a mythical deity said to have created Sinnoh. These old charms are still discovered now and again. Hmm. Since you're in Celestic Town, why not look around inside the ruins? I will. Okay, so this is where it's going to get interesting, guys. So, you go into the Solistic Town ruins, and there literally is nothing there except for this. This uh, hieroglyphic kind of deal. And if you take a look at it, you examine the ancient cave painting. Mysterious designs cover all, a whole section of the wall. There are three strange beings, or things, forming a triangle. In the middle of them is a shining sphere. What is that? What is this all about? And here comes Grandmama, and she's gonna be like, The cave painting reminds me of an old story. There existed a being, a being so powerful, it was considered a, a deity at the time. Opposing these be this being were three Pokemon. The three kept balance with, with uh, the one as if they formed a triangle. Triangle of trust, huh? It's an ancient legend of Sinnoh that is still told to this day at Celestic Town. Oh, yes! I found something useful. You should take these! They belong to my granddaughter, but she's not using them. 
And here we get ourselves the TM95s. I believe that's Surf, right? Is it? Is it? It's a Surf. Yes. Okay, that means we can cross waters and get fun stuff and all that crud. How excited was I for that, guys? Anywho, um, let's see. Each of those contains Surf. The user controls a huge wave, drags everything around it except for the user itself, and attacks. And my granddaughter said something about, what was it? Oh, yes! You can use Surf from your Pokédex to cross the waters such as seas and rivers. To use that hidden move in the field, however, you must first obtain the Heart Home Gym Badge. On that matter, you will have to handle it yourself, I'm afraid. Well, I think we know we, we, where we have to go next. And, uh, well, after doing that, click on this. And, well, that's pretty much it right there, guys. Nothing too big and all that stuff. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a small tour of this whole place and then call it a day because, yes, it is a short episode for you guys. My bad. And, well, holy lord, this guy right here, he's looking all mean and everything. There appears to have been a, an, an insignificant struggle here. Everyone should step back and view things from a bigger perspective. Yes, a bigger perspective. One that is on a universal scale. My name is Cyrus. I seek the power to create a new world, a world without strife. However, that power seems to be unavailable here. We met before, yes? It was at Mount Cornet. If you discover any power derived from the, uh, the Legends of Sinnoh, inform me. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. For the power is what I need to create my new world. You know, anyone who does that or says that, they're not a good person. I'm just saying. Don't do it, guys. Anywho, uh, let's see. Let's go right ahead and uh, not do that. Uh... Like I said, we're gonna take a look around here. Not a lot of stuff that you can find right here. Maybe one or two trinkets here and there. And well, hey, do you know what they say? They say Pokemon created the Sinnoh region. I wonder who that Pokemon is. Let us find out later on on Pokemon Arceus Legends. I already said it. Um, let's see. I must bear down and train, and for what? And uh, for that, time is, is unimportant. Therefore, I have no need for the for a watch. Take this from me. And we get ourselves an analog watch Poketap app, which is literally... It's literally that, okay? Nothing to it. Nothing too big. It's that. So, let's go right ahead and move on to the next section of this whole area right here. Um, I believe this is a shop. Small shop. A little shop. An insignificant shop. And yes, this is a shop where you can actually find yourself some, you know, important items like great balls, potions, all that stuff. Things that you probably need during your adventure while going through long paths and all that stuff. Putting on a pair of glasses changes how the world looks. Taking off a pair of glasses changes how the world looks too. Deep man. So, would you like to change how the world looks to your Pokemon? And there we go, we got ourselves some black glasses. If you guys don't know, that powers up any kind of dark type moves. Do we have any dark time Pokemon? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Wow. Okay. So, let's see. There is no Pokemon in this town. Instead, you can buy and sell items. Okay. Well, I didn't really need to read that and all that stuff. Now, here's a big, 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 big house right here. Okay. So, let's see what uh, what this is all about. Um, oh, it's where Grandma lives. Okay. So, talk to Grandma. Hmm. If you get the gym badge from Heart Home, you can use a hitting move surf anytime. Using a hitting move will be able to go to places once out of reach. Okay, so yeah, that's I remember that. And talk to this guy. Where are you from? Hmm, Twin Leaf Town, you say. Isn't that close to Lake Variety? The lake is uh, said to be home of Misprit, the being of emotion. It must be looking over you. Probably is. Okay, so there's a big book right there, and it's an old book. You began reading it. When that Pokemon was born, intelligence bloomed among us, enriching our lives. When the Pokemon was born, or that Pokemon was born, uh, emotions bloomed among us, giving us joy and sorrow. When that Pokemon was born, willpower bloomed amongst us, uh, spurring us into action. Sounds like a religious thing. I'm just saying. Okay, so let's see. What does this old man have to do? Howdy, setting up a local history? Kinda, probably. This this whole game is a history lesson in Pokemon, so... Yeah, I guess. And if you go right here, talk to this guy. He's gonna be like, Mount Cornet towers over the center of Sinnoh in a way. It's closest place to the sky in a in this region. 
okay? Nothing of importance right there. And uh, if we talk to this person, if I climb to the top of Mount Coronet, will I be able to see all of Sinnoh? Probably. I do not know. So, I believe that is it right there. I know I can battle west of this area, but I kind of don't want to because, uh, yeah, there's no need for it. We just needed to do this, you know, that kind of stuff. Anywho, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be continuing on. We're going to be going for our gym badge, and, uh, yeah, we're going to start surfing and doing all these fun stuff. So, thank you guys again for all the patience in the world. Thank you guys for supporting. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. See you guys.